Though, I've kind of always been bad at video games. That's the point of this whole series. And one video game that's one of my, like, first Steam games that I'm just always sucked at is Team Fortress 2. But, with the recent bot cleanse, I've decided it's time to change that. But, let's see if that works at all. <laughs> also, uh, we're, we're playing Pyro, if that wasn't clear. <laughs> a bit of a struggle. I played this game a lot as a kid and I adored it, but I was never any good. I would just go in private lobbies with my friends and we would just kill each other over and over. That was that was how we played it. <laughs> you can tell I had a favorite back when I was really into this game in like 2017. <laughs> this doesn't uh, reflect to how I play games now. No, I don't really like playing Ash and Depp tried to play Widowmaker. No! <laughs> Pyro was not a character I had played a lot. So I was really trying to like, I don't know, he was very fresh concepts. I didn't even know he had a projectile like deflector thing <laughs> i really could not figure out like his range because you get up close and you get attacked but you can't really do much from afar so it feels like you gotta like sneak up maybe flank a little bit i'm not sure like i could sneak up a little bit and i like i would get kills but the most i would get per round is two so it was definitely like i don't know uh, overwatch is the only first person shooter i've ever been really good at like I can kind of roll with Fortnite but most of the time it's just me being carried by my boyfriend so the constant changing of colors did mess me up sometimes like I would just let enemies run up to me because I'm like oh okay hi and then I'm like oh wait <laughs> no I'm dead <laughs> because I didn't realize a lot of this footage is just me dying over and over because I suck at the game and I don't know how to, like, it, especially, it's less clear how to position yourself and work together. Because in TF2, everyone just kind of works alone. I like a lot of the Overwatch's, like, togetherness. Uh, but TF2, you just kind of, like, fuck off and do your own shit. Which is nice, because when you suck, you're not, like, detrimenting the team. But it also, it does make it hard to understand what you're supposed to do. Like, I, again, a lot of how I played this was unconventionally. So I didn't play it a lot whole seriously. And I was also, like, 11. So I didn't really think about this stuff. I would just, like, run at people straight and try to shoot them. Day 2 was kind of a lot of the same things of not knowing how to position. Just trying to, like, get my flame on to people and light people on fire. Getting confused on which side I was on. It was it was messy. <laughs> yeah, a lot of a lot of this gameplay is just I walk out, I die, I walk out, I light someone on fire, maybe kill someone, and then or assist a kill. Whoa, and then I die. I would try like at the beginning of rounds to hide near their spawn. I was hoping that like ambushing them would help and like, I don't know, flaming up the crowd. I'm not really sure because I think, I think Pyro does AOE sort of stuff where it's just you spray and it hits a bunch of people. I, I, I think. <laughs> I did find that strafing and just like keeping my like pointing at them helped, but also like that was a demo man going at me with a sword, so not not too hard to dodge. I did start to play around with other weapons in his kit, like especially when everyone's so far away, I would pull out the shotgun because it would didn't it wouldn't do that much damage, but it did do something, and I felt more useful that way. I just saw that dude fly across my screen. How did I not see that when I was playing the game? <laughs> And then I was also trying to figure out, like, blasting back projectiles, and I got, like, an achievement for, like, blasting back a bunch, and I was like, when the fuck did I do that? I think it was about this area where I kind of started to feel it out, like, I would wait around corners and just, like, blast people as they came by, that was fun. And, like, I actually got, like, a lot of kills and assists while not dying between that, so that was fun. 
And then I did find that the shotgun is super useful for dealing with rushing enemies. Like, the flamethrower does more overtime damage, while a shotgun can get just, like, quick bursts, which is a good balance. And I even became best friends with someone, which is, like, a big, nice little achievement. Like, it's always so annoying when someone becomes best friends with you, but when you do it to someone else, it's like, ha, look at me go. <laughs> Day three was, it started out with an instant death, which I felt like kind of foretold a little bit. <laughs> I just got utterly dominated by these devil men using axes and I just struggled so much. <laughs> and overall, I just couldn't figure out good angles to like be effective with. It was just, I don't know, I was just really struggling. Getting kills and doing damage and stuff, like, happened, but not a lot. You know, I got, like, three kills this day, and it was getting so frustrating. I couldn't figure out how to get better. I think the only time I really felt good was I managed to get, like, several kills at once, and then I whipped out my shotgun and just, like, murdered another guy. That was fun. That felt good. There was just this little stretch where I was just kind of defending and bottlenecking, which helped a lot and just being able to like switch back and forth. And then, and then my reign of terror ended, but I was starting to feel better in that short little burst. And then I went back to dying over and over, which wasn't as fun, but you know, I, I think I was figuring something out. And yeah, I did start to pick up. I got like, you know, 12 assists, like eight kills at this point of the day. And that I was starting to feel a little better. I was like, oh. Maybe I will actually get better at pyro. The next round was a little difficult, like especially when I get stuck in little areas like this where there's just like teammates far away and I, I like I'm like I don't know what to do or how to help. Like I was finding like constantly backing away in corners really helped because it slowed them down and kept them from doing damage on me while also being able to just light them on fire. I did get my first axe kill though. I would think I was trying to switch to my flamethrower, but then a spy just walked up and I was like, well, <laughs> I hit the button and then it worked. <laughs> but overall, it was a lot of the same stuff. It was a lot of just like maybe getting two kills in a round and then dying. And then it was just like, <sighs> pain. Day four, I enlisted the help of two other people because at the time I didn't know that day one decided not to record. So I thought this would be the final day and I wanted to do something better. So I enlisted the help of my boyfriend and someone else who was like a TF2 like god. Um, but they, they were like, oh, you need to edit your loadouts and stuff. And I'm like, ah, I don't know if I have enough time. This is the fun. They get, again, I thought it was the final day. I don't have time to really like edit my low out loadouts. It doesn't really feel worth it. I just want to feel, I want to learn how to do it. And it was a struggle to learn with them on call because the TF2 master couldn't speak. Um, and then my boyfriend had no idea what was happening. He was just here for the ride. Um, that I was just like. I don't know, I felt like I wasn't doing any better. Like, the corners helped. I could figure out how to, like, put, you know, light someone on fire, back up, light someone back on fire, and back up, and then I would get more kills that way. But at the same time, I just didn't feel like I was making any dilly darn progress. And then here came day five, where usually I have my shit figured out, and I'm rolling people, and I'm having so, so much fun. Ugh, I can't play this goddamn game. Fuck you. <laughs> I know this is a pyro only run, but I cannot get close enough on this map. So, you know what we're doing? What we're doing, goddammit, is we're pointing and we're clicking and we're winning the game. How the hell? Yay! Yay! Those were the only two kills I got as part sniper. And then, and then I realized our team didn't have a medic, and they were constantly calling for a medic, so the rest of this game plays medic. But, you know, it was still, like, so hard. I was dying left and right. I was running around. I did eventually, like, convince someone else to turn medic, too, so we could have two medics, but we still lost so hard. But there was also this one guy named Yep who was just murdering everyone. Like, it was just constant, like, yep, is best friends with this player. And it was like, fuck. And 
you can sense some of the bitterness in the, my voice. I just played this round, and I'm just like, this did not go as well as I thought it would. I've been getting so much better at first-person shooters, but maybe it's just Overwatch. <laughs> maybe I've just been a degenerate because it's so... I cannot figure out how to play Team Fortress 2. Like, there's little things i figured out, but I just can't do it. I don't know if anyone has any, like, tips... But the tips I've gotten are really like, change your loadout. It's like, fuck, I don't want to do all that. <laughs> the game should be, like, accessible without switching all your shit. I don't know. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for sitting through my whining and my not getting better at all. Um, but I mainly play Overwatch, so if you're interested in that, go ahead and watch. Or if you want me to do more Team Fortress 2 and think I can get better... Go ahead, let me know to do that. Or if there's other games, I'll play Fortnite or not Valorant, though. I hate Valorant. Anyway, please do the cool algorithm things and have a lovely, lovely day.